According to a recent Gallup poll, more than 40% of Americans don't want one. But what if your employer requires it? Can they do that? Well, Brad, there are some exceptions, but by and large, yes, your boss can require something like this. Here's an example of something similar that's already been done. Here at the KU Health System, they already require that the staff get flu vaccines, get vaccinated for the flu, I should say. The alternative, seek employment elsewhere. It's become commonplace now to see people in face coverings, even in a typical office. At some companies, it's required. Another even more intrusive condition of employment could arise. This is something new for us. Micah Thompson is an associate professor at the UMKC School of Law. Then employers can mandate a vaccination and there's not a lot that employees would be able to do about it. With a few exceptions, employers must make reasonable accommodations under the Americans with Disabilities Act to someone with a pertinent medical condition. The same goes under Title VII of the Civil Rights Act for a, quote, sincerely held religious belief. It's not uncommon to require vaccines in healthcare fields. And though an employer doesn't need a justification for such a policy. If we're talking about just kind of a run of the mill office setting or something like that, then um, the employer's justification would be that this is necessary for the, you know, the safety and protection of, of the workplace. Of course, there's what they can do and what they likely will do. While this is good news, a recent Gallup poll shows more than 40% of Americans say they would not get vaccinated. But what if your employer required it? 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez goes in depth on whether your company could mandate you get it. Employment experts say your boss can make you get one. They're not generally known to the public because they haven't come into play as much to date. But um, there is recognition for certain certain industries, such as healthcare industries, where there can be a mandatory vaccination. Well, Employment Opportunity Commission recommends ADA covered employers to simply encourage employees to take a vaccine versus requiring them to do so. I work in a plant so we wear like you know like the masks and during uh, the morning they take our temperatures and we just go through the protocol so I'm not sure if it will be mandatory to take a vaccine but I'm assuming at some point yes. They're gonna let people decide for themselves so I don't think that they're gonna be putting a lot of pressure on people to take it. Law professor Dory Rice foresees a few obstacles. The big one, access. We have 300 million people in the United States and these the first vaccines will require two doses. So the first problem will not be mandated. It will be getting enough vaccines for the people who actually want them. For some, there's still an overall uneasy feeling over the first round of vaccines. I would probably see what happens in the, fall, in the upcoming year and then possibly take it next year depending on how that first year goes. Would you define the ADA? So based on our business in the food service industry and the state mandate, your request for an ADA accommodation is denied. Okay, so even though I have a letter from my priest, I can't work overnights alone because I won't wear a mask based on our business in the food service industry and the state mandate. I think that's extremely shameful. I